yeah we'll start with adobe forms so already we know smart forms and what uh, scripts both are used for what designing what business documents okay similarly adobe forms is also used for designing the template of what uh, business documents understood adobe forms is also used for designing the template of business documents the tool used is form builder okay what is the tool we use form builder tool we use okay done okay so if you want to use this adobe forms okay so the software requirements the software requirements for this adobe forms is we need to have adobe life cycle designer <coughs> okay we need to install this is apart from what sap software apart from sap software we need to install adobe life cycle designer and we need to install adobe adobe document services okay they are the two softwares that we need to install apart from what sap software this is adobe life cycle designer and adobe document services right so just to brush up our knowledge so what is the different tools we use for designing the business documents we have what sap scripts okay so in sap scripts what is the tool we use form painter tool what is the t code we use sc71 okay this sap scripts supports only what static forms you can only display the data okay interaction is not possible understood interaction is not possible in what run time supports only what static form interaction not, not possible in what run time am i clear so what is the procedure we follow for this first we are going to design what sap scripts in what sc what 71 then what you will do you will develop what driver or we call it as what print program that is nothing but what executable program so in this executable program what is the function models we use open form write form and what close form okay similarly we have what smart forms okay so in case of smart forms where is the t code we use supports only what static forms here also interaction is interaction is not possible interaction is not possible in what run time <coughs> interaction is not possible in run time done okay what is the procedure we follow for this yes we are going to design the layout in what smart form layout design will do it in what smart form you will activate it it generates what function will we can execute it. okay and if you want we can also write what a driver program or we call it as what a sprint program which is nothing but what an executable program what you will do inside this you will call the smart form function model which will act as what driver for calling the smart form am i clear so this is what we do it in what scripts and what smart, smart forms okay now we have what adobe forms okay we have adobe forms so if you take this adobe forms it supports both what static and what interactive forms those who attended reports i hope everyone has attended what reports we have an interactive reporting the once the data is displayed the user can double click on the data based on the interaction we can generate some dependent data okay so here interaction is possible in case of what adobe forms am i clear the procedure for this the procedure for dealing with adobe forms is first we need to create what adobe interface we need to create the adobe interface okay so what is the t code we use 
SFP T code we have to use. We have to use SFP T code. Then what you will do in the Adobe interface? We are going to declare what? We are going to declare the parameters. We are going to declare the parameters. We are going to declare what? Global variables. Okay, we are going to write what? Select statements for what? Data retrieval. Where do we do this in case of smart form? While designing the smart form only we will do it. Okay, we can do it in the smart form design level or we can pass the data from what? Driver program. Okay, so the main thing is in case of smart form, in case of smart form, we will declare the parameters global variables in the smart form level only. But whereas here in case of Adobe forms, first we have to create what? Adobe interface. Then in that we will declare parameters globally on the thing. Then we have to create what? We have to create what? Adobe form. What is the T code here we use? For Adobe form also we use what? SFP T code. Okay, this Adobe form is created based on what? Adobe interface. Make clear. So what you will do in the Adobe form? We are going to map the parameters and what? Variable declarations. Then what else? Adobe system fields just like we have what? SAP skip symbols. In SAP skips also we have seen what? Four types of symbols. Standard symbols, system symbols, program symbols and what? text symbols right uh, question to Swarchala what is the table for system symbol in SAP scripts Sudhakar what is the table for standard symbols in scripts Rajesh what do you mean by text symbols in scripts examples for text symbols examples for text symbols Text symbols are also called as control commands. I gave some examples. Top, end top, bottom, end bottom, perform, end perform. Last class we have seen how to call what? Subroutines from what? Scripts. Okay. Include is a tech control command. Bitmap is a control command. Okay. Done. So here we are going to create the Adobe form based on what? Adobe interface. What you will do in this? You will map the parameters and variable declarations. You will map the parameters and variable declarations. Uh, yeah, we'll map the parameters and variable declarations. Then Adobe system fields from Adobe interface context what? Adobe form context. Okay, done. Then we are going to what? Design the layout for what? We are going to design the layout for what? Adobe form based on the Adobe form context okay then we are going to what activate the adobe form just like what smart form here also it generates what function model which can be executed directly am i clear so if you want to work with adobe forms first of all we need to install what software adobe lifecycle designer and what adobe document services Apart from our SAP, regular SAP software, we have to install these two additional softwares. And this is a procedure for designing the Adobe Forms. Okay. See, again, uh, Adobe Forms is also, I can say, it's a separate kind of uh, subject. Okay. We can discuss it for one month also. Okay. Am I clear? I don't know complete Adobe Forms. Okay. And you also need not know the entire Adobe Forms. Is it clear? If you want to know each and everything in Adobe Forms, first of all, we should know script because we'll write the script code in what? Adobe Forms. So since we are from ABAP background, whatever is related for the ABAP, we'll discuss it. And I cannot say only that is sufficient. We have to do R&D from your end. Make clear, Adobe Forms is also a vast subject. But just to have the introduction on that, we have incorporated that in the syllabus. But again, it's a vast subject. We have to do lots of what? R&D on that. Okay, just we are going to spend some couple of hours to understand how it is different from what? Scripts and what? Smart form. Okay, right. So, I'll try my maximum level to cover uh, what? Uh, most of the things which is required for the industry, but that is not sufficient. We have to do lots of R&D. Like no, 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 no. Not OOPS interface here. This is Adobe interface. So, what you will do in the Adobe interface? You will do these things. Anyway, we will see an example. You will understand. Like model, like 
when we activate the Adobe form, it generates what? Function model. So just like what? Smart form, we can directly execute and what? Test. Okay. Or if you want to call it from a driver program, we can call the Adobe form externally from what? Driver program. In case of scripts, we use open form, write form, close form. In case of smart form, we'll call the smart form function mode. Here also, we have the procedure to call the Adobe forms. Okay. So, yeah, I think I gave that steps here. Okay. So, what is that? In the executable program, okay, in the executable program, you'll call what? Adobe form. You'll call the Adobe form function module. Okay. This function module will act as what? Call Adobe form function model, which will act as a driver for calling the Adobe form. So what is the procedure you will follow? What is the procedure we'll follow in this Excel program is you will start the job. You will start the job by calling a fun using using the function module. Using the function model. What is the function model name? fp underscore job underscore what open then we'll get the you will get the adobe form function model just like in smart form how do we get the smart form function model by using what ssf underscore function underscore module underscore name here also we'll get the adobe form function model dynamically how do we do it using what function model what is the function model name fp underscore function underscore module underscore what name module underscore name fp underscore function underscore module underscore name <coughs> done right so this is a procedure you have to follow and then we have to call the Adobe form function. These are the three steps you have to follow. Then there is one more step. You have to close the job. You have to close the job by using what? FP underscore job underscore what? Close. Is that clear? So these are the three function models you have to remember. FP job open, FP function model name, and FP job close. Am I clear? So let's see an example here. Uh, again, this is related to WebDim Pro, but for information, I think I gave. So we can call the Adobe form the external from what? Driver program. One is I can call it from what? Executable program. I can call it from what? A WebDim Pro application. So for this, we should strong in what? WebDim Pro. So it's out of our discussion. Okay, <coughs> done. Okay, so first, what is the first step you have to do? We have to create what? Adobe interface. So when you are creating the Adobe interface, it is going to ask you what type of interface you want to create. We have three types of what? Adobe interface. These are all very important for entry purpose. That's the reason I prepared the notes. Okay, <coughs> so we have what? ABAP dictionary based interface, smart form compatible interface, okay, smart form compatible interface, another is XML based schema interface, yeah, XML schema based interface, okay, there are the three types of what? Interfaces, so we'll see the differences, and Adobe forms is of what? Two types, one is offline, another is what? Online, that is one is static, another is interactive, okay. Offline is nothing but called as what? Static and online is nothing but called as what? Interactive. Okay. So this interactive, this to make it interactive, we should have the knowledge of WebDim Pro. So since we don't know that, what I'll do is I'll do, I'll develop a WebDim Pro application and I'll make it interactive. This only for knowledge sake. So in the entry point of view, we can say that you know both the process static as well as what interactive and anyway, i'll share the videos of this adobe forms also right not now after a couple of days okay so software requirements already i gave about that okay so let us see a simple example uh, to design the 
Adobe Forms, I want to give some welcome message. Okay, so let's see how to do it. Any question before we continue? And okay, so these are the two things we have to install and one more thing uh, I am not sure about that What are the software we installed since we don't have any licensed software? This would expire in one month This will expire in what one month again. We need to what reinstall. Okay, so Let's try so what is the requirement? I have to create what a simple Adobe form to display what welcome message for that do we require any 